so this is an analysis of the education of code forces round. And a specific problem is the regular bracket sequence problem. So essentially the point of this problem is that given a opening bracket, it, will there always be a closing bracket and or a question mark uh, super sequence such that this sequence will be a closed one? So if you go to the test input, for example, right, for here, first input, um, this is a closed sequence because there's an clo opening bracket and a closing one. But however, this one would not be, because at the start there is a closed bracket, but there is no opening bracket preceding this. So yeah, the question is asking, is it possible to obtain a regular bracket sequence? after replacing the question mark with either open brackets or closing brackets. So, here's an example. Yeah. So, there's only one question mark in here. However, the best way to start approaching this problem is to have a counter for these opening brackets and closing brackets. So, open. So let's start in the first one. It's an opening bracket. One. And the next one. Closing bracket. Closing bracket. Now something you may notice is that, let's just take this section as a subset, right? So these two, these two right here, are as an opening and closed pair. So this, these two work perfectly. But however, these two next to it, this one and this one, do not have an opening bracket that precedes them. So, they, they don't even have a question mark in front. So since we can say that there's nothing starting um, a sequence formed by this one or this one, we know that this bracket sequence cannot be a regular bracket. So, how do we approach this as a code form, right? So, we can start by looping through the whole array. And then, first thing we can do, right, is check the, the amount of closing brackets, so these ones are here, if you go from the front to the end, is never larger than the amount of opening brackets plus the amount of question marks, because the question marks could be an opening bracket. So, if, so some of these ones is larger than the sum of this plus sum of that. If this situation occurs, then we know that this cannot be a regular bracket sequence. So, false. However, we can also look at it from the back, right? If we're going in the backwards direction, we have to make sure the amount of opening brackets is not larger than the amount of closing brackets. So here's an example of that. Right, so going from the back, so this is the first one. So closing has one. But then the next three are opening brackets. So you can see that there is not a closing bracket to support these two open brackets. So because of that, you can t say that um, the amount of um, this cannot be a regular bracket sequence because yeah, these aren't paired together. So now,
Okay, so now we're looping through. So this is, let's just say I, x from 0 to n. But now, at this part, we can just do n minus x to go backwards in the array, right? So, by using n minus x, now we can just test if the sum of this is larger than of this plus sum of this. Now, if this happens, we can also say it is false. So those are the two main scenarios. However, if you go to the test sequence, the test input, we have a situation here where the opening bracket has the closing bracket and vice versa. However, there is only one um, question mark in this situation. So the question mark has to be replaced by an opening bracket or a closing bracket. But if you see in both scenarios, this would not be a regular bracket sequence. And this would also not be a regular bracket sequence. So we can see that if, um, if there is an odd amount of question marks, then it's not a regular bracket sequence. Or if um, the difference between the amount of question mark, between the bracket amounts, is not, if that difference is, is odd, then the amount of question marks has to be an odd amount. So I'll, I'll highlight it here. So, if question mark odd, is odd, then that works. And the same goes for if the number of question marks is even and the difference between opening brackets and closing brackets is also even, then we know that works. But then in the two mixed scenarios where a question mark is odd and the difference is even, then we can know that it cannot be a regular bracket sequence. But here is a depiction of that. Right here. So there's one more closing bracket, one more opening bracket than closing bracket. But we know that there's no way to properly fulfill it such that there's an equal amount of closing brackets and opening brackets at the very end. So using these four situations, we can, that's essentially the answer to the problem. And essentially, yeah, that's how I get mine. Where if the amount of um, if start is larger than n plus q count one, or if n is larger than start plus q count, and notice I said q count and q count one because you're counting from two different directions, so you want the two numbers to um, cross over each other. But essentially, yeah, that's just what we can do.